It's a bright and sunny day outside. It's really hot. And that can only mean one thing, boys. The yellow or patch notes are out. Patch notes are out. Ladies and gentlemen, 3.6.0. Patch notes, patch notes, patch notes, patch notes, patch notes. Patch. The patch notes are gonna fix the game, as they say. Let's see. I don't promise anything. They do not promise certain changes. We're gonna see. Let's go. Let's jump to the patch notes, my boys. So, let's go. And because this could be end really, really bad, I'm gonna put my Fiesta hat on. So let's see. Fiesta hat on. Let's begin with the patch notes. Let's read the patch notes and my reaction to them. Patch notes 3.6.0 notes. So, well, the game is now the second anniversary, two years of Legends of Runeterra, and they're gonna give you all of this as you log in. So log in between 3.6.0 and May 11th. Log every single day. You can do it on your phone. You can do it on your laptop. Come on, you have to log in. There it is. So let's jump ahead with the patch notes. Uh, for all the people that are thinking they're gonna give you a skin of Vi and Jinx, a emote for Vi and a two cards backs. So go ahead, two icons and a card back. So go ahead, log in. I'm just telling you, log in. New cards, Might of Vanguard, three mana, slow spell. It says, we're generally improving the Elites package in this patch and Might of the Vanguard acts as a flexible way to bring another fairly stated Elite to the field or make the other Elites more Elite in a big cost, in a big cast. So it says that it's 3 mana and to play uh, spend all your mana, summon a vanguard, a downless vanguard, and grow its stats to that amount. If 9 mana was spent, grant the other allies uh, el elites plus 2 plus 2. So let's see the video. Okay, he spent 9 mana and. BP Elite, Jesus Christ. That's a good card. That's a good card. That's a... A Jesus Christ card. Okay. Okay, for glory. Six mana, slow spell. It says, reputation. I cost three. Summon two Trifarian Glory Seekers. Okay, why did they create this card? Much like Elite's reputation has a few, ad a few additional changes this patch to make the overall changes more satisfying to pull off. For Glory can help activate reputation faster or acts as an efficient way to pull some threats from the enemy backline. So let's see, against Mono Jury, I love it. So play the card. Okay, to challengers. That's gonna be nice against Mono Shirima, like they show over here. And Victor decks. All the decks that uh, really want to conserve certain cards, this card will be nice against them. Okay, we go for Inner Beast. Your Inner Beast. Uh, two mana per spell. Inner Beast. Give an ally plus one plus one plus one plus one this round. Create, create a stand swap this in hand. With Udyr's new level up condition. Okay, they changed Udyr's level up condition. Revolving around stances, Inner Beast acts as a flexible card that can work with a wide variety of Freyor cards while providing a much more explicit benefit to Udyr himself. Okay, let's see the card. A plus one plus one and creates... Oh, it's like the, the change they made to... to the PNC card last 
time. Give plus one plus one to a unit and create a ballistic bot, a neandroid, or this dude that I don't know. Okay, nice change. New cards. Those new cards, fine. The one that I like the most for glory and the might of vanguard. I think it's way too cheap, but the condition is good. Okay, they're adding more text to the cards. That's good. Card updates. So let's go for the champions changes. Ash. LOR has evolved quite a bit since Ash was designed. So we're opening up her level of condition so that her chill with regions outside. So, so let her chill. Sorry, I'm dyslexic. So let her chill with regions outside of Frail Yord. So now she levels up when you decrease plus four enemies power to zero. Okay, that's nice. That's really, really nice. Uh, that's gonna make uh, Ashurima. Are they hinting that? Ashurima with quicksand? Not bad. Well, actually with quicksand is actually a good change because since quicksand now reduces minus two, minus two to different allies, uh, different enemies, or minus four to a single one, that's gonna be nice. That's gonna make Ash really, really powerful. So we will see, we will see. We will, no oh, Nocturne, also Nocturne. Could be one. Nocturne reduces power. Hmm. Nice to Ash, okay. Darius, this change should help Darius be more consistent in Pass of Champions. Okay, doesn't matter. It, it's basically when I had seen half. So Darius is still the same from this patch on ladder. Galio. Uh, we wa Galio was only gaining a single point of health on level up, so this change makes his stats gain more consistent with our rules and makes him just a bit more formidable. So now when he levels up, he goes up to 10 health. Eh, nice, nice for Galio, makes him a little bit more sturdy. Okay. Uh, Garen. So Garen, now when you lev, when you summon him, he gives plus one plus one this round to all allies. That's actually nice. That's a Scythia on play. That's a Scythia on play. And for a card that is five mana cost, the effect is good. Okay, so it says Garen was feeling a bit, bit vanilla. Yeah, a bit vanilla. So we modernized his design while helping him to enable the machines to do what they do best. Fight with square stats. Okay, nice one. Karma. Karma losing functionality on level up. Did not feel great. So her level two now retains the spell regeneration, spell generation, which also helps replenish your hand if you empty it to reach enlightenment. Well, that also never happens. That, that happens only once and it, when it's really 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 late that game but now in round end it generates you a new spell from your regions okay that's nice that's nice um that means karma shouldn't win when she is enlightened maybe okay Katarina echoes from the past. Who is that champion you call Katarina? Is that even a champion? Who knows? Katarina. Katarina got a few more knives. Like Karma, she now retains her level 1 functionality, reducing the cost of Blade's Edge to 1 on her level 2 form. We are giving her a slight a slight edge to clear out weakened targets to prevent chump blocking. So now, on play you rally, create a zero cost fleeting place edge in hand. Strike to call me. Mm. Uh, what can I tell you guys? I don't think this is enough to bring Katarina back. I'm gonna be honest, this doesn't bring Katarina back at all. The same problem, Katarina has the same problem. Um, the fact that you have to replay her. 
I don't know how much impact is gonna have this change because dealing one damage yeah it's enough for certain situations but it's not enough for others and you can still silence her so yeah Katarina as a sweeper not the best idea I think the fact that she recalls that that the strike recall I think that's that's the bad thing we will have to see we'll have to see but I think this is not enough for Katarina to be back I'm totally honest Leblanc it can be pretty tough to generate a mirror image that's true so giving her one on level up should help to increase Leblanc overall presence and thematic resonance so new effect when I level up and each time you see I see you deal 15 damage plus create a mirror image in hand if you already have one reduce its cost by one so now when I level up okay so she levels up she gives you a mirror image that's good that's good that's a powerhouse that's a powerhouse this is generating you now value and level up that is really, really good because you cannot stop it um, it could be good because sometimes you need to chump block something and you don't have the mirror image or you want to attack and you block your attack you get a mirror image you create another leblanc for example uh, that gives you more versatility I think this is nice this is a nice one Leona. Leona already has the Zenith Blade. So it just makes sense uh, and you all seem to like it when we accidentally shipped this before. They link this changed. Uh, this, should change, uh, this should help Leona to uh, end game. So now when she levels up she has overwhelm. Nice one, it's gonna be a really really nice one. Uh, we, uh, daylight, daylight or morning something morning daylight uh, her signature spell uh, that's gonna help her a lot because mm, day breakers have a problem that is finishing the game you chump block you chump block chump block chump block chump block with overwhelm on Leona it makes a lot more sense and I think it's gonna help her uh, close out the games Malphite it says that for a high cost champion we wanted to give Malphite a little more extra rock and roll when he's dropped on the field being able to immediately stun a target makes him a bit better pick with just <laughs> this is a reference to Malphite Malphite Jazzle Malphite Jazzle uh, let's uh, let's him more consistently stall the match until he gets into the motion so now it has a concussive poem when you play malphite okay nice really really good you can stun a target on play i think that's good malphite was a little bit how do i say this uh most of the champions that do not have something on on entering the field is is a champion it's like okay i'm i'm a big threat I'm a big threat. Champions are supposed to be big threats. So it's like, I'm a big threat. I'm gonna do something. And Malphite just like, yeah, I'm Malphite, chump block. That, that doesn't make much sense. Now it makes a lot more sense to stun an enemy because you're paying seven mana for doing almost nothing. Now you pay seven mana and in additional to that, you have a, a you have a, the potential to stun a target, that's good. Nessus. Nessus, Nessus dropped this, we've just given it back, for real though, he was a little too scary on release, but he's falling a little bit too far, it could, uh, and could benefit from having it back, so now Nessus have first him again, okay that's nice, it's gonna prevent him from getting chump block, uh, I think it's nice, I think it's a good, a good one, giving it back, Nocturne, Changing play to summon gives Nocturne more options to fill the board and terrify the opposing in doing so. The opposition in doing so. So now the change is that when I'm summon a unit, give minus one 
this round. This is in level up. Mmm, this is good. This is nice. The only thing is that the level up condition has not changed. Um, um, when you have attack with Nightfall, is the level up condition. This is good because it works with ephemerals. Could it be enough to bring the ephemeral Nightfall deck on play? Hecarim Nocturne, maybe? Diana, he Diana Nocturne Hecarim, could that be enough? Could that be enough? It could be. We're, we have to see how impactful is this. Because with the summon, you know, Hecarim summons two riders, and if you have a shark, uh, a shark chariot, that's another one. That's a minus three. That's a minus three on a, on attacking. So it could actually be really, really nice. It could help you uh, close out the game. The thing is the nightfall because you have to attack four times with nightfall. It could be Hecarim Nocturne. I give you there. I put that there. Just putting it there. Scion. Scion, again, we're giving Scion a little more extra power to close, to help close out games more efficiently. So now, Scion is a 2-6 on level 1, level 2 and 9-6, and returning his a 9-4. So one more extra power. Well, that could help him. Nice change. One more extra power can be actually a powerhouse on its own. Sometimes you only need one more to either get rid of something or end the game. So it's a nice change. Oh dear, another champ. Is that a champion? Can you hear the echoes of a dead thing? Oh dear, let's see what they did. Udir should feel right at home playing stand swap. So changes his level of condition to revolve around, it should make his kit more cohesive overall. We are also giving his power a slightly boost to make him more of a threat early on. So now, uh, level of condition is when you have played three switch uh, stand swaps in this game. And it's a 5-4. That's a nice one. That's a nice one because it's actually easier to play three of those things than dealing seven to the Nexus. So is this gonna make Udir out of uh, Vladimir Udir and put him into other things? Because the uh, stand swaps are pretty powerful. The thing is that with the, the cost, it's like three mana or something like that. Mm, well, we will see. We will see. This is a good change. It's easier, easier. We will see, we will see. I think Udir could be back in certain decks and it's definitely out of Noxus. But we will see in other decks. I don't know which other decks could be. It could actually be... Uh, Fiora? Yeah, Fiora with Siege Senses could work. Uh, we could see more formidable with Udir. Because you play three Switch Senses. Mm, formidable with Udir could be nice. So yeah, those those changes are good. Let's go for Vladimir, the bloody Vlad. Vlad has a bloody hard time dealing with chump blockers, so this change should let him be a bigger threat to close out games faster. So now Vladimir is a fearsome guy. Fearsome regeneration is a hard one because it's hard to remove, and second, it's hard to block. So this is actually nice. That is a good change because first of all, uh, region makes Vladimir really, really difficult to deal with, and fearsome now makes him harder to block. So and it's six, six damage to your nexus. This is a good change. We could see Vladimir on the ladder a little bit. Okay, we go for spells and landmarks. Okay, ambush. So Ambush has become a go-to tool for some decks, Victor Riven, to end games abruptly. 
without much opportunity for interaction for the opponent. We're increasing the cost to be in line with similar effects. So now instead of being a two cost, it's a three cost. So for three cost plus two and elusive this round, if you created a card, um, if you play two creative cards on hand. So if you get two cards to your hand, this is actually nice. This is actually nice. It was too powerful on Victor Driven, I believe. So this is a nice change. Ballistic bot. The bot has been an overperformer for a while. And with Victor recent buffs, it's time for tune the engine down a notch. Uh, so now it has zero attack. Uh, this is good. This is good. And yes, the bot, even though the the they don't change the ignition, the bot was uh, a, a threat. For this car aggro, uh, even in some swing decks, you see it. So it's a good one. It's a good one. I, I believe it's a good one. Blood for Blood. In addition to blood changes, making Blood for Blood burst speed allows for some cool outplays in some damaging decks. So now deal, deal one to a follower, and if it survives, create a copy of it in hand. This is good. This is really good. Uh, people sometimes underestimate burst. Just by creating a copy of a follower, it could be anything. It could be a lot of the, f the Crimson. You could get Crimson Awakener. You could get uh, the Fat Boy Crimson one. That would generate you two. That, that would generate two cards. In hand, that's a powerhouse on its own. A lot of value just for having this combo. Uh, this is good. This is a good one. This is a good change. Barrett Sundisk. We're happy to see. Oh, come on. Mono Shurima did not last even a single patch without being tuned down. Uh, we're happy to see Barrett Sundisk get some serious play, but it's getting flipped faster than we would like for the impact it has on the game. So now instead of advance one less round when you level up uh your champions that is that is a hard one you see like oh one more it's actually two more okay it's actually two more two more rounds two more um rounds it's enough time for certain decks to pop off it's actually enough just that slight margin of two rounds gives you enough time to either get rid of one of their champions or win the game so i believe this is really really good this is really really good a, a nice change is not killing it but we're probably gonna see certain cards added to mono shirima that clockling maybe to reduce this deficit i think one or two copies of clockling could actually be good on this so, uh, yeah, nice nerf. No, it's not completely killing the deck, but it's good. It gives you some time. Uh, Call us Bone Crusher. In addition for four glory and blank changes, we want to make hitting reputation more impactful, even if it's slightly higher cost. But uh, Call us Bone Crusher is now more of a threat to close out games once reputation is achieved. So now it costs three, but when I'm summoned, grant me overwhelm. Four mana overwhelm once you have repetition. And it could be three mana overwhelm, six damage. That's a lot. Okay, definitely. Uh, repetition decks will be back. Will be back. We're going to see a lot, but a lot, a lot, a lot of repetition, I believe, with LeBlanc. So LeBlanc is back. Mm, yeah, this is nice. And with uh, mirror image, you can get two of this. So you could get for three mana, two six fours with overwhelm. That's a powerhouse. That's a powerhouse. That's that's a strong reputation. Decks are back. Uh, Hayara Olsir. with Udir's new level up condition and inner beast, Hayara Olsir has also been changed to encourage more stand-up 
more stance soft casts. And it says, when I'm summoned, create a stance up in hand. The first stance you play each round costs zero. That's good. That's a powerhouse again. Because Udyr, once it's level up, it's generating you consistent stand swaps. So from going from three to zero is an incredible, incredible effect. This is now a Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi effects are really, really good. Lasting effects are good. This is, this is good. We, we'll probably see some stand swaps decks out there too. Swifting Lancer. Given Swifting Lancer the elite subtype lets its benefit from Might of Vanguard and Vanguard Squires change to make the archetype more cohesive overall. Okay, nice for yeah, elites. That this is nice for elites. This is just it just makes sense. It it makes sense. It makes sense. Bandle tree, burn that down, burn that card down, please! Please burn that card down. Let's see what they did. Oh, please burn the card down. This chain makes it so that the Bandle Tree's condition can be reset if it's removed from the field, increasing overall interactivity and efficientness of landmark removal against the deck. This is something I was asking a video ago. I was asking this last patch to reset the condition as uh, the star springs that was so broken you remove it and they play another one and then you don't have your landman removal then how resetting it resetting i said it they have to reset it this is killing the card this is killing the card hitting its instant win condition is much harder but I, but we don't want to completely burn down the trees, so the cost has been lowered to make it the an efficient value generator for a relatively high initial investment. Yeah, it's not gonna kill the car because the landmark removal in LOR is really really bad. But against certain decks, especially Estrel with the Scorched Ground against Noxus, this is gonna have a really hard time. The Bandle Tree condition against those decks should never be achieved. Like against Ezreal, Caitlyn, or a lot of Noxus decks that run uh, Scorch Ground, these cards should never win you the game. Yeah, now it's it's 4 mana, but the fact that it resets, the fact that it resets, it's so high. It's really killing the card almost. It's almost killing the card. The, the fact that it resets from zero, um, yeah, I think this card, Bandle Tree, could be dead. Could be dead. Against the Scorch Ground, this never should, it should never win. Vanguard Squire. So like Might of Vanguard and Swifting Lancer, this, ch this change helps smooth out the curve and overall game plan of leads. 3-3 three, three, where 3 Cost and when I'm summoned, reduce my cost by one. So it's when you summon an elite, phew. okay, okay. So now you can get a two cost three three. Nice, it's a nice buff. Elites are back. We're gonna see on the ladder, probably we're gonna see Udir, Reputation, and Elites. Elites will be there with Garen. Elites with Garen will be back. Okay. Yordles in arms, another card that I want them to nerf so bad. So yay, Yordles in arms has seen as much play as before 3.4 with all the new decks pumping up. It's still a little too scary when it's played. So we're reducing the hands effect. So now instead of giving uh, plus two plus two and plus, plus four plus four, it says that Giving allies plus two plus two this round. If you have summer or cast cards from four different regions, give allies plus three plus three. This is a good one. This is a, I believe, we will see if it is enough. I think it is enough. I think it is enough because a lot of the times with Jordals, just that one extra health 
lost you the game. One extra health lost you the game. Now with this, it's, it's actually better. I believe this is better. 3-3, uh, three, three, easier to get rid of them. And the cost, 5 cost, I could have maybe been 6. I would have go for one more cost, but that would be maybe killing the card completely. I believe this is good. I believe this is a good change. So those are all the changes and now, okay, they're updating the rules. Let's see. Let's see, they are making some changes to the game rules. Let's see the video. This, that is patch 3.5. Okay, yeah, you play focus, you pass. On 3.6, you play focus and... You end the round. Oh my god. That, this is huge, the mind games. This is gonna make people into more risky plays. Okay, 3.5, cast a spell, nothing happens. Three point six. You played it! You played it! You played a card and it immediately it immediately did the effect. Oh god, that's hard. That that's a good one. That's that's an inner buff to a lot of cards. Like an inner buff to a lot a lot of cards. Context of get decided by Ruminzu. First pass. Previously you could end round. You could end the round after your opponent has full, fully passed without taking an action. Beginning of this patch, if your opponent passes after playing only a burst or focus spell, you may now end the round. Oh my god, this is hard. This is this is a big one because a lot of times you only play the burst and you pass for the mind, mind games. Now you cannot do that. Now you cannot do that. That is, that is incredible. That is a nerf to a lot of a lot of decks. That is a nerf to Riven, and it's a buff. It's not a buff. It's not. It's a nerf to a lot of styles. Now you cannot play mini morph and pass. No, you play mini morph attack or you do nothing. Jesus, that's. That's a big one. And now cast is merging with play. This is a bit complex. Let's so let's define play in LOR. When a card leaves your hand into play or into the stack is playing the card. Yeah, play it's getting from your hand to the board. So the change is now cast cards have been adjusted to activate when you play a card. So the change is now targeting now uh, targeting now activates when you play a card wow okay so now when you you cast you play the card oh that's a big buff to a lot of that the Shelly the Shelly dude that is down here I don't know you can see it the Shelly dude I don't remember the, the name Nami is also um, there's a lot of uh, like we will have to go through all the play effects of cards to see which are the followers and champions that are getting uh, buff because of it. This is a big buff. This is an, indir an indirect buff to Nami also. Also to Feast. This is a this is a buff to Feast. Jesus, that is a big one. That is a really big one. Look at that. They say they are just in 61 cards. In a way, this is a big change. So this patch is not only these changes, but also those minor changes to play. So it's all the champions and the, the different um, cards up. But it's also those 61 cards. These 61 cards could make a big game. This is a shift. It's almost like resetting the game. This is resetting the meta completely. Yeah, this is wow. The mind games, the mind games. This is a good one. And this is why they made the change. 
This is why they made the change. Okay. The utility of a slow spells. Yeah, because sometimes you feel like focus spells where it's just a slow spells. Uh, clean up some space mechanics. Increase gameplay satisfaction of playing with cards like Lux and Heimerdinger. This is what I was talking about. On those Lux and Heimerdinger, these are incredibly huge. These, these are huge changes. These are huge changes because some, before, if you deny, let's say you deny a really big card, the hex gates, uh, then Lux did not get the final spark. Now, when you play the hex gate, you actually get the the final spark, and when Heimer Dinger too, you get the elusive turret. God, this is huge. This is a huge buff. This is a resetting. We're gonna have to see all of those changes one by one. This there's the this meta is not gonna be discovered until two weeks by now, and they made some v uh, some visual uh, if changes. Let's say the visual changes. Okay, now you see a little uh, sword when you are going to attack. You're gonna see the cards that can attack, and you're gonna see who's can who can defend. So she's defending Miss Fortune is defending this guy, and Draven is attacking this guy. And let's see what else. Who's attacking? Who's defending? Yes. This is good for beginners. And you still get the ghost. Yeah, you still get the ghost when it's removed. So these are this is nice. So this is these are nice. Uh, so it's more stack clarity. The board visuals aim to clarify that are there that there are unresolved actions with which players can start uh, a stack. Attackers and blocker indicators. Turn gems and button naming. The OK and round blue button has been related to consistently name what's happening to reduce ambiguity. Two gems have been added, okay, added to the button to indicate turn status. I, I did not see that. Where where is it? Where are what are those? Oh I see the the little white gems. Okay, yeah. Uh, attack clevers, attackers are a red point indicator if they are going to hit the opposite nexus. So, red dot indicator. Red dot. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, the one here on the tip. The one on the tip. Uh, and clear ghost blockers. Uh, ghost blockers, the translucent visuals now appear under the blocker as soon as it's placed so if she's getting removed now you see it a little bit under yeah it, it appears over there the ghost blocker uh okay and that th those are good good visuals good visuals help track uh it's good for beginners and personalization. Uh, Arcan Vi, this is one that you're getting if you log in. Uh, Arcan Jinx and some alternatives. And this is the emote. That's the Vi emote. Card packs and the icons. Okay, boys, what do I think? This is a completely reset of the game. Uh, the changes are good. The only ones that are really disappointing, I believe, are the Katarina ones. These. And the uh, Darius. I don't believe that was necessary. But obviously, that's good for Path of Champions. Uh, overall, the changes for Bandle Tree are really, really good. They're not killing the card, but 
they're almost killing the card immediately. If you run landmark removal, the card is gone, that win condition is gone. Uh, your old in arms, not completely dead, uh, easier to deal with. Then the buffs, uh, this one is gonna be, uh, I think it's gonna be big. Uh, then uh, Nocturne one could be nice, Nessus, this one from Malphite I think it's not a such a huge one but it's really good to have a concussive but now you feel like you're doing something with Malphite. Uh, what else? The Garen one is it's, it's, it's Jesus, Elites are gonna be really really powerful. Ash is gonna be really really powerful now. You can combine it with Troll Chan, you can combine it with Quicksands. This is almost telling us to comp try to combine Ash with Shirima. And the new cards are really really nice. So overall, my final thoughts. Overall, I think yes, it's gonna be nice for the game. We will see uh, until we start playing it if it is enough. Uh, they did not hit as much Bandol City, uh, Mini Morph like that, so we will see how it goes. And this hat is killing me, it's really really hot. So yeah, I believe it's gonna be, it's a nice reset point, we will see how it goes. And well guys, thank you so much, I'm gonna be bringing you a lot of content on my Twitch stream, t uh, uh, tv slash shadowvist. If you don't follow it, it's going to be in the description down below. Also at the end of the video. Thank you so much. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of these patch notes? Are they enough? Uh, there were some champions that you thought they could give them a hand and they did not. Uh, are you excited for uh, Nocturne, Hecarim and Udyr other things? All of those things tell me in the description down in the comments down below. Uh, like, subscribe, see you all in the next one. Shadow 